So we got some episode titles and spoilers for episode 65 and 66 of Dragon Ball Super. Now, more than likely, these episodes are going to contain, essentially, the fight with Zamas or Fusion Zamas. Again, it's it's a weird situation of what to call them or whatever. But Zamas, essentially, and Black Fusion, we're going to have more of that fight. And to be honest with you, I noticed a lot of people are actually getting kind of upset, especially I've seen people talking about these spoilers. <laughs> And one of their complaints is seemingly they think that there's no fusion with Goku and Vegeta. And one of the things that people are really highly anticipating is they want Vegito, they want Gogeta, and they want him now. Because as soon as we got the fusion of Black and Zamas, people already assumed, okay, immediately, yeah, we're, we're about to get fusion. Which, to be honest with you, just because the next couple of episodes doesn't necessarily showcase that Vegito or Gogeta are about to show up doesn't really mean that we're not going to see them it just means that if they do appear it'll be you know a few weeks afterward because i mean there's still time i mean they're completely outmatched they don't have the mafuba jar goku vegeta trunk so there's still a lot that needs to be covered in order for zamas to go down there still needs to be so much of a fight because again he's super powered at this point he has a ton of you know just everything and they need some way to take him down and again just because these episodes don't necessarily signify vegeta or gogeta doesn't mean he ain't coming in a month doesn't mean he ain't gonna come towards the end of this arc. But let's start off with the spoilers we got for episode 65. So, Dragon Ball Super episode 65 title, Final Judgment, the Supreme God's Ultimate Power, coming November 6th. The Zero Mortal Plan heads into its final phase. Goku Black and Zamas have merged via the Potara. Now they've evolved into a fearsome foe, sporting both an immortal body and formidable fighting power. What's more, merged Zamas emits a wall of light that eliminates all it touches, and yet Goku and Vegeta don't lose their fighting spirit. The mightiest god, his name is merged Zamas. So, kind of curious what the hell that wall of light means. Like, I guess that's possibly a technique, and we've seen in the preview for episode 65, I believe, that he has like this halo or something this giant white cross looking thing behind them or whatever maybe there's a possibility that that could be something to do with this wall of light again i'm kind of curious how this power manifested because we've never seen really zamas or black have some sort of wall of light although we have seen black have the ability to manipulate things into weapons i mean he created basically what would essentially look like a bankai he had like this giant death scythe that he created out of his key so this wall of light could potentially be something along the lines of what black's been doing this entire time although again it's kind of weird because it eliminates all foes that it touches so how the hell would he necessarily i mean unless black and zamas you know explain hey you touch this you die how would they know the truth of it because if goku or vegeta touch it or trunks touches it wouldn't they immediately fall or but it does say eliminate and doesn't say kills so there's a possibility that it just really fucks them up and goku and vegeta not losing their fighting spirit who knows maybe that could be a clue that again i, I mean obviously don't get it twisted like saiyans especially vegeta vegeta's not gonna say oh zamas you're too much for me mate i'm a fucking little saying piece of shit i'm not able to fucking do nothing to your lad or bow down so already like just arguing over their fighting spirit they're saiyans they, they love to fight that's what they do they're not gonna just bow down or anything like that but also who knows it could be a potential clue as to what's coming next with goku and vegeta maybe again they don't lose their fighting spirit because they have a plan but then onward to episode 66 <laughs> Dragon Ball Super Episode 66 is titled Showdown, The Unyielding Warrior's Miraculous Power, coming November 13th. After his ring of light is broken by Goku's life-risking attack, something strange happens to merge Zamas. So, Episode 66, well, with the description we got, I guess it's gonna have something to do with his ring, or possibly what they're referring to as the ring of light that he has behind him. I'm guessing that that's how he creates that wall, and I'm guessing Goku goes balls deep on some fucking World of Warcraft. Leroy! Oh, Jenkins! Imagine Goku doing that shit. But yeah, seemingly they're gonna continue to fight and, you know, knock him out. But the thing that has me curious about episode 66 is the ending part. Something strange happens to merged Zamas. What the hell could be happening? I mean, immediately when I think of that, something that pops into my mind is what happened to Kid Buu when he spit out or when he had those things ripped out of him. I think it was when he had, like, Majin Buu, the fat Buu, ripped out of him and stuff like that. And his body started morphing. So maybe whatever happens to him could be morphing his appearance, maybe morphing his body. Maybe he could end up getting a lot stronger. Maybe if he loses his god thing, he becomes a lot more evil and a 
certain part of his personality takes over more than the other. Maybe the evil side just completely takes over and he becomes like a ramping fucking lunatic. Or it could have something to do with the Potara earrings. Maybe after they fuck up his wall of light, maybe the Potaras get ripped off by accident. Or Well, actually, I take that back because the Potaras, no matter what, if they come off or not, you're permanently fused. So maybe there's a possibility that they did something where Zamas and Black are defusing. I don't know. Because again, if Goku and Vegeta were defused by being inside of Majin Buu, I guess it was when they got digested that they defused. There's a possibility that whatever Goku does, he ultimately fucks it up so the fusion splits. Which, if that would be the case, if episode like 67 or the end of 66 kind of splits Zamas and Black, then there definitely would be no need for fusion. There's definitely no need for Vegeta or Gogeta if Goku and Vegeta essentially have, you know, just these two people again. Because the whole reason for Vegeta or Gogeta would be, hey, this guy is fused, he's immortal, he's a lot stronger, we need something stronger, oh shit, let's fuse. But if it's both of them by themselves, then we can continue the fight as we've been having, where Vegeta was knocking the shit out of Black, Goku got Zamas, and Trunks can fight either one, you know, helping out the other. But I'm kind of curious as to what's going on again with this wall of light. Like this wall of light, I'm assuming again it comes from that god key thingy that he has behind him. But uh, it seems as though it's not going to be that effective. I mean, I guess there's not much really to say or much interest for that matter. If the following episode seemingly Goku does something which is risky but ultimately knocks it off. So it's probably not going to be that big of a deal. I guess the big thing right now to be questioning is what the fuck is going to happen to the fused Zamas in black. I mean, if there's something strange happening happening to him it could be a personality disorder in a way of like both personalities are fighting with each other it could be that he goes darker maybe he's getting more evil on some like kid boo type of shit i'm kind of curious if something does strange happen to him as far as like appearance wise what he will look like next because i mean he's already just like this green motherfucker with white hair which i love his character design to be honest too i think it looks sick as fuck but if he does have some sort of transformation i'm kind of curious will he look more like black will he look more like zamas or what's gonna happen there could it be something to do with that white ring around his back and if something strange happens to him as far as it being that he defuses then again that would signify no need for gogeta or Vegito. and bam down goes the hopes of all the fandom that's been dying and wishing to the toei gods please give us some fusion boy please Although based on Dragon Ball Heroes, I believe it was Dragon Ball Heroes, a trailer that we got recently that I talked about, I think a fusion would be a lot more interesting, to be honest with you, don't get me wrong, I love Vegito, I love me some Gogeta, I think they're cool as shit, but I would like to see Trunks fuse with one of them, especially Trunks and Vegeta, oh, that would be so sick, just imagine the possibilities, I mean, fucking Vegeta being able to swing a sword and shit like that, having the god key, having the boost, because again, right now, Vegeta's the strongest, Trunks is the second strongest, and Goku's the weakest, assuming everything the way it's been playing out kind of makes sense in that fashion, and you fuse the two strongest right there, Trunks with that insane power-up that we still don't even know what the fuck it is, Vegeta with his already Super Saiyan Blue capabilities, and then the capabilities to swing a sword around, no matter what this Zama's Black fucking fusion motherfucker has, they're gonna kick his ass, and it's gonna be just like that, and again, it'd be interesting to see the personality, I mean, don't get me wrong, it kind of would be weird as far as the interactions with Bulma, on one hand, you got Vegeta, that is her husband on another hand you got trunks as her son so it's kind of like how, how do you react to that situation i think if i was that fusion or i was handling that fusion i would kind of be weirded out on what to do because it's like that's the husband and son at the same time i guess it would just be like a fond hey i love you and so i can figure this out i'm gonna stay away from you because I, I i i can't control myself right now but either way it'd be sick if we get some type of fusion let me know what you guys think though based on these spoilers first of all do you think there's a possibility that we can rule out fusion or do you think that fusion will still happen it's just gonna happen a few episodes from now also what do you think is the deal with that wall of light do you think it has something to do with that god ring thing that is behind zamas and what do you think about this strange thing that is happening to Zamas. Do you think that he's defusing? What, what do you think is the deal there? Honestly, whatever it is, I hope it's something creative and something interesting and exciting to continue the hype because, again, uh, if you've been seeing my reviews and every week everything I've been talking about Dragon Ball Super, you know I'm hype about it. You know it's been exciting. And I can't wait for more. I can't wait to see what the hell is going to go down. Any overall thoughts of all this? I mean, Dragon Ball Super, baby, like, it's fucking hype. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm Fina World, and as always, people, have an awesome day. And Dragon Ball Super episodes 65 and 66, once again, once again, looking like it's gonna be some crazy shit.
have an awesome one, people.